What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen, how to cook. And today we are making glazed chicken and broccoli in the kitchen, fast, easy and simple. Make sure you subscribe goody and turn on the post notifications so you won't miss an upload. After all of returning goody on the done no son of girl love it up. On the ready for cook, let's go. Look what prayer can do. Hypocrite and bad mind must slow. The same out to a chair for you. I the same one them would turn round and boo. Okay, goodies, let's cook. Now we have our boneless chicken thighs right here that has been washed nice and clean with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. We are going to cut up this boneless chicken thighs into smaller pieces here. Now just be on the alert though, you can cut it into your desired pieces, but for me, I'm going to cut it very very small right small not extremely small but small enough because I want it to be bite-sized pieces okay make sure that if you have any fat lingering on your chicken thighs you want to remove those fat but be sure to give it some nice little slices here I did cut mine really small as you could see here but nevertheless the merrier okay now that I have been now that ha it has been cut into the desired pieces I went ahead and put it into a container here and we're going to season I did add some salt very simple and add some black pepper to it and I did add some all-purpose seasoning and that's all I added to the mix then I went in and add the cornstarch to it and y'all I will add I will list everything that I'm using for the recipe down in the description box all right let's go ahead and eyeball everything right here so but I'm going to, in fact, write down every single thing that I use for this recipe. Okay, we're going to make this glaze turn all the way up, okay? Glaze, honey, in the kitchen fast, easy and simple. Just be sure that you mix everything thoroughly because you want it to be thoroughly seasoned through and through every single piece of this meat here to add flavor, okay? And sit it aside. Now, moving right along, we have our pan here that has enough oil. Make sure you have enough oil in it. We're going to uh, make sure that it is nice and hot to at least 350 degrees in heat, okay? Now we're going to add our seasoned chicken thighs into the mix. And you don't want to overcrowd your pan, y'all. Do not overcrowd your pan. You want it just to have just enough in there to fry nice and crisp. It does take about 7 minutes right here to fry, okay? Um, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you guys see exactly but I want you to get it right the first time All right, right the first time just go ahead and just pour it in a Little at a time and all we are going to do here is just Turn it around just mix it around just keep turning like I'm doing here. Just turn it around Okay, so that way you don't get it all stick and cluttered. That's why it is critical that you do not overcrowd your pan. I know you want it to move fast, fast, but you know what? Just, just, just do what your girl is doing here, just to get the perfect glazed broccoli and chicken and broccoli in your kitchen every time. Okay. So right here, after about six, six to seven minutes, all right, you want to go ahead and just um remove them from the pan. All right. It is going to have a very nice crisp color to it. You don't want to bun it up. So do not go running and go um, watching Love and Hip Hop and bun up the chicken and come back to bun up, bun up a chicken thighs, okay? You want to stand there and just keep turning until seven minutes. And then we go ahead and just remove those. Now what I did though, you want to go in for a plate and put a paper towel in that plate. Put it, the chicken on there so it will observe some of that oil all right you want to do that make sure they do that don't skip that step goody don't skip that step because you have soft and soft chicken if you do this perfect right there that's all exactly what you want it to look like just go ahead and remove those and sit it aside and wait for step number two now after you have removed um your first batch you just want to go ahead and continue the second batch the same way that you did step number one all right um for me i did do three um batches of chicken because like i said you don't want to overcrowd your pan so i did do three all right just the, the less you put in there the better the chicken that will come out 
So just take your time nice and slow until you get everything right. Now y'all be sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you're still watching me cooking, like, comment, and share. After you're done subscribe and turn your post notification on goody so you will always know whenever your girl upload a brand new video. When you thumbs up the videos, YouTube see that you like the videos and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience and the channel will grow and the video will grow. All right, now, boom. This is what your chicken is going to look like when you are done frying the entire thing. The entire thing, process, it looks just like that. However, what you're going to do is this. In the same oil that you used to fry, you're going to go back and add all the chicken back into that oil and give it another four minutes of frying, honey. I kid you not, it is going to do something amazing. What is going to happen when you repeat all this, when you repeat this step again, good it? The chicken is not going to get softy, softy when you finish up the recipe, okay? Just watch, watch the process. Now, moving right along, I'm using these um very sweet onions here. Now, if you don't have these onions, just use whatever onions that you have because I know somebody's going to say, Oh, to cook, what me, me not have the onion the way I use? Good day. my answer is use whatever you have in the kitchen because guess what? A your kitchen, I make your kitchen happy, right? All right, now, so I did choose to use this only because it gave it an extra little sweetness to the recipe, all right? So let's cut it up into thin slices such as this. You don't need to chop, chop up your onion. Let's cut it just like I'm doing here, okay? This works uh, pretty uh, fine, pretty fine. Now I did go in with some um, uh, sweet bell pepper. This is the organic ones, use whatever. If you have green ones, you could use that. But you maybe don't want to go green because your broccoli green is going to hide in, the, in that color. You might want to go yellow or orange or red like I'm doing here. But add some bell peppers to it, okay? Bell peppers works pretty good with this recipe. Now after you have achieved all of this and all of that, you put that aside, you're going to move on and get your broccoli ready. Now, there's so many ways to get your broccoli ready. You could either steam your broccoli, you could either boil them, or you could pop them in the microwave. All right? But I went ahead and popped mine in the microwave to make it simple. Now, you don't want to cook your recipe with that big old hard-ass stem in your recipe. You cut it off and throw it aside and just separate whatever you need to put, which is that part of the broccoli, okay? I don't like the toffee toffee part in my thing. Um, so I went ahead and even cut it even um, smaller, cut off the tough piece. That is tough, yeah, tough. I don't want that. And that is what we have here, okay? Now, to prepare your broccoli, though, after you have removed all the stems, the hard part of the broccoli that you do not want, okay, like so, cut it into your desired pieces. Very simple, right, goody? Mm-hmm. Now, all I did here... After I achieved that, I just went ahead and I did put it into a container. Now, I did go in after I put it into the container and give it a nice little rinse on the cold water only. Then I came back and I gave it a little bit of spruce, a little bit of spice up. So, I wanted to have flavor, so I had just a little bit of salt to it, tad bit. And I added my foot up on my um, seasonings here, which is the all-purpose seasoning. It's not my favorite, but I just went ahead and put that in there. I love Ocherio's um, seasoning, but we use that one for today. Give it a nice little shake. Pop it in the microwave for about, mm, I'd say, five to six minutes, and that was good. Now, moving right along, I added about, I'd say, maybe three tablespoons of oil to my pan here. And then I added two tablespoons of unsalted butter if you don't want to have unsalted butter you could have salted butter right then I had about a tablespoon of chopped garlic about a teaspoon of um, ginger powder you could use fresh ginger works just fine um, toast this up you want the garlic to toast up pretty much pretty good if you don't um, have this kind of garlic use whatever kind of garlic fresh garlic is perfect right but cut it up mince it up nice then you want to go in at this point and add your vegetables, which is your bell pepper and your onions. And then I added about a teaspoon or a tablespoon maybe of um, apple cider vinegar. I did use the apple cider vinegar because it's also going to 
give it a nice little sweeter flavor than if I had used white vinegar. If you don't have that, use white vinegar, right? Mm-hmm. All right, now we're going to give this a nice little toss around. Let that toast up for a few, maybe a minute or so. Then to that, um, I added some onion powder, black pepper, and um, garlic powder. All right, you want to season it up basically. So spice it up with every kind of season that you have in your kitchen. I did add some all-purpose seasoning to the mix as well. Now it's time to put my soy sauce to the mix, all right? And again, I will list everything that I use for this recipe down in the description part of this video. Now, also, I added some um, dried pepper flakes to the mix. If you don't want to add that, add some scotch bonnet. You know what? We, I don't like pepper, so yeah, we skipped that. But I did add um, the dried pepper flakes. Gave it a nice little kick. Okay, now it's time to add your cornstarch. Your cornstarch is what is going to give you that lift and give you that glaze color, honey. Had two tablespoons of brown sugar, all right, to kick it up a notch. Give it a nice little mix right here. Then you want to go in and add your water, okay? I added about a cup of water here, one cup of water, and I allowed it to simmer down just for a few minutes maybe five minutes at the most all right and that was it and there you have your glaze all ready for your chicken honey and the kitchen is smelling amazing now you want to go in and toss those really crispy nice fried chicken thighs into the mix go ahead and put your broccoli in honey and boo, let me tell you something. Chinese restaurant that have nothing for me. No, sir. I went in and tossed it all around. Get that sauce under your Now, if you want to go ahead and add just a little bit more water to it, you can do that. Make your kitchen your own, y'all. I only had it about a cup of water and I did allow it to simmer down for a few minutes. But if you like gravy upon your rice, then you could go ahead and just add some more water. All right. But just be careful not to remove the flavor, the flavor. But when I was done tossing all that goodness around, that is what your girl I've right this so. And the thing is off the chain. Delicious, okay? Smelling good. Um, and it was um fabulous, fabulous, amazing. Now, what I'm gonna do is gonna have um cook my rice. Very simple. I'm, I'm using some basmati rice. This is basmati. Yeah, I'm using basmati rice here. All right. Um, maybe about a cup and a half of basmati rice. Added some water to it. Okay. Then I added some salt and about two tablespoons of the unsalted butter. You could add salted if you like. Gave it a nice little toss, just like a salt. With my fire at a low to medium heat, and as you can see again, that is in fact the basmati rice, honey. You could substitute for jasmine, plain white rice, parboiled rice, whatever kind of rice that you want to have in your kitchen. Always know when you're cooking rice, though, you want to have it at least an inch above the where the, the water, an, an inch or so above the level of the rice, okay? I um, tightened it up just to conceal my steam in with some foil. A couple of minutes later, I went back. My rice was done, okay? It was uh, done. Look at that. Perfect rice in the kitchen every time straight okay nice and shelly and ready to go all right and again goody if you're watching me still wanna wait and if you're not subscribed just don't be an undercover watcher go ahead and thumbs up the recipe so youtube to say i like the thing and turn up the thing mad loud right so just go ahead and show you some love for bringing you this amazing recipe okay Thumbs up the videos, y'all. Thumbs up the videos. Okay? All right, let's plate this damn thing on a plate. All right, so now we are just going to go ahead. We're not going to be all creative and all them thing, but I'm just going to go ahead and just put that rice on a plate so y'all can see. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working for these thumbs up, okay? So I'm just plating this up so you can see how it looks on the plate. Rice is on, and here we are putting on our um, delicious tasting glaze ch um, chicken and broccoli on the plate oh mm -hmm. and there you have it amazing recipe fast easy and simple to make any day of the week give this recipe a try y'all 
Now, don't forget to share the love with all your friends and family. Tell them what go on over here. Bring them come and send them come. I'm waiting. When you get doing that, when you get done doing all of that, tell me what you want to see me cook next in my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy. Look what prayer can do. Hypocrite and bad mind must slow. The same out what tear for you. I the same one them would turn round and boo.